It has been a long, long road toward getting openly queer characters on screen. But some trailblazing shows have made huge gains worth celebrating. Wee. Wee. Shows like Steven Universe and the Shira reboot We're on the edge of greatness. both broke new ground when it came to themes of love and interpersonal relationships as seen through an LGBTQ lens. And their creators, Rebecca Sugar and Andy Stevenson, were trailblazers in the queer creator community. So I went to find some of their fans. We are here now with Aaliyah, AKA Magical Black Girl Cosplay, AKA Garnet. <sighs> Something tells me that you're a fan of Steven Universe. I'm just a huge Steven Universe fan. I love it so much. <laughs> Who doesn't? Why Garnet and Steven Universe specifically? What does that mean to you? I now pronounce you Garnet. I first got in the show because of Garnet. I saw, oh, a black looking character, like a curvy woman. Like, I'm all for that. It's not just like a fun little cartoon show. We're actually talking about depression. We've got queer representation. We've got these lesbian space rocks. Like, just all of that combined, it was like, this is the perfect show and I need to stick around for this. We are here with Jimmy Sherfy. How are you, Jimmy? Good, how are you? Great, great, great. You look fantastic, by oh, the way. Thank you, thank you. Now, why is Shira so important to a queer, trans, non binary community? So, to Shira! Well, when I was little, Shira was okay for boys to play with, sort of, because she was like the twin sister of He Man, and there was like a cross gender, like, kid fandom that you weren't like bullied as much for saying, like, liking a Barbie doll for Shira, because Shira kicks some ass. Yeah. And was kind of my early first memories of like being a little gay kid loving Shira. Do you have a message for uh, Shira fans and your fans alike out there? I'm just really glad that Shira lives on and in a newer way. Little kids are so excited. It, it makes me even more excited to know that their parents don't care that they're watching this show that does have all these gay and LGBT characters. I just didn't see that happening in my lifetime, to be honest.